slam this on the table and open it. Go, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, I'm down. I touch little, you know. I do. God, I'm fucking. I wish I was on that fucking island, dude. You know, so uh, what yeah, island? So Bay of Pigs. Cuba. Epstein's island. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm. I'm be honest with you. This is probably my favorite gun. I'm so happy I got an MCX. That's a very double poor purchase for you right there, bud. What do you mean? That's like if you just wanted to get an ACR or just could have got an ACR, you should have just got an ACR. Why are we even bringing up the ACR? You don't even have an ACR. Yes, I do, idiot. No, you don't? Yes, I do, no. idiot. It's right here. That's not an ACR, that's a jackal. It's a Palmetto State Armory jackal. Mom said we had ACR at home, so I went home and I got this ACR. I see what you're saying. It looks like an ACR, kind of, but it's not even the same system. That's Prove it. That's long stroke, ACR short stroke, like this. Okay, yeah, so you short stroke them, I long stroke them. We still both hit, though. All right, I'll dab you up over that. Cheers to 200K, my boy. 200K. A year. All oh. right. All right. Welcome back to the Andy and Drake podcast, sponsored by LAF, Louisiana Firearms. We out you. We out you. Interesting video today. Palmetto State Armory Jackal. First off, not sponsored by Palmetto State Armory. This is not provided to us. No money exchange or anything like that. We came out of our broke, broke, broke dick pockets and bought this ourselves. Very shallow. Very shallow. So in the intro, <laughs> in the intro, we were mentioning ACR at home. We hear that quite a bit. Um, does that hold water? PSA, is that the ACR at home? Uh, why not? Why? You know? Uh, I think personally that you cannot get ACRs, right? Bushmaster, how long was Bushmaster around for before the Iraq war, things like that? Mm -hmm. We're just spitballing here. So around the Iraq war, stuff like that, everything was standardized towards M4s. M16s. You couldn't get parts, yep. you know, M16 A1s, A3s, A4s, yep. up to M4s, mm -hmm. and nothing was standardized for this type of platform. But nowadays, everybody is moving away from that platform. Yep. You can't find Bushmaster parts or even the ACRs, yet here we are now, Palmetto is standardizing, just like they do with all of their products, an ACR at home. Yep. So I guess we'll find out how it holds weight whenever you shoot the shit out of it. Correct, correct. So. Like Drake was saying, ACR, if you wanted to go and buy one today, either find a nice pawn shop find, hopefully somebody doesn't know what they have and they'll sell it for 1,500 bucks. Uh, realistically, you're gonna go on Gunbroker, you're gonna spend three, $3,500, something like that, for an okay condition ACR. Um, we just recently did a video on one. I love the ACR, it's a good platform. Um, but it's hard to move away from the AR-15 type rifle. Uh, yeah. There is so much aftermarket support for the AR-15 and I'm very happy Palmetto, you know, took a, a step in the right direction with this and made this platform, made it to where there is more modularity. There's already parts coming out for this rifle right here to make it, you know, uh, adaptable to your kind of choice. Right, uh, it's, it's super configurable in so many different ways. I mean, I've mm -hmm. seen customers running them in several different ways with different optics, different barrel lengths, things like that yep. already, uh, different stock options. I mean, it's just... Yeah. It's all mil spec. It's like a mil spec lower mm -hmm. that feels almost CZ Brennish yeah. slash ACR ish, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a weird hybrid, but it works. It does. It does. Um, well, let's talk about the one we have right in front of us. Okay, so we got the 13.7 pin and weld version. This has a Sons of Liberty Knox on the uh, the end of it. It achieves that 16 inch overall. So you're gonna have a 16 inch barrel, um, avoid any uh, harassment by the ATF. Uh, so no tax stamp required on this, except for if you wanted to throw a suppressor on it, uh, which we do have one on here. We have this uh, Sandman S on this one uh, with a burn proof gear wrap on it, which uh, excellent company over there at burn proof. Uh, the definitely, boys. those are the boys. And, uh, but it, it's a nice platform. We're, we're excited to get behind it and start shooting a little bit. Um, and one more thing, this is an AR-180 style design. So you, you have a piston operated gun, and kind of an AR type rifle. Um, side charging, ambidextrous, you could swap it from the left to the right side if you wanted to without any tools required. Uh, but the difference between this and most of your, your Brins, your, your Scars and all that, uh, your MCXs, you have short stroke piston rifles. And on this you have a long stroke piston rifle. So it's AK-47 design, it's right. a long stroke piston, um, but you have that heavy bolt 
that fits in the AR-180 type rifle. Um, so it's definitely a unique design, and that's why I'm kind of not really liking the ACR comparisons because it, it, I get it, it looks like it, but we're not talking about the same rifle in this sense. Uh, we'll get some shooting on, uh, on film and, and you, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about just because we're able to reference uh, the ACR, it's fresh on our minds, we were just shooting that on camera. So uh, yeah, I mean, you excited to shoot this thing? But before we start shooting, we got to thank our biggest sponsor, we got Sonoran Desert Institute, that's sdi.edu. If you are looking to get your start in the gunsmithing world, uh, if you enjoy working on firearms, learning about firearms, and ballistic research, uh, you can reach out to them. You can do that by either clicking the first link in the description or you can call this phone number right here. And today's video sponsor, USCCA, that is the United States Concealed Carry Association. And I wanted to let you know they are doing a gun giveaway right now, which you can enter for free, but it ends very soon, so you might want to act fast if you want to win a free gun. You can learn more by hitting that link in the description that says USCCA before it and you, it'll reveal which brand new gun you could possibly win. And I wanna put a lot of rounds through this gun, so thank goodness Last Shot is our ammo sponsor. If you're outside of Arizona, you don't have to pay sales tax, and if you spend over $250 on your order, you get free shipping. So make sure you use code LAF at checkout. Let's get shooting. Something like that. Let's go golfing. Let's go golfing. Die. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished sighting this rifle in for you guys. Uh, none of our rifles are ever sighted in, so we're trying to do it right for you this time. Uh, what, what you got there? You'll see that repeater, boy. And you got soft hands. You, you need to go to home. <laughs> you need to leave. You need to leave. All right. All right, we're gonna do six shots A-zone. We're gonna do build drill, the left target right here. And the cameraman's gonna give me a beep. Low, huh? Felt good. Not bad. Let's take a look. <clears throat> wow! Look, I just QD'd the Sharpie out of the rig. Did you saw that? That's me right here. Boom, 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 boom. Six. The first one was just making sure we were on paper. I did it, Dad. You proud of me? My dad doesn't watch my videos, by the way. I'm joking. All right, it is my turn at the Bill Burr drill. Y'all ready? Y'all give me a beat. Beep. My hand was pressed up against the charging handle, which caused it to fucking stop. You know what's really cool? Is we could swap it over to the other side. Oh, that was only five though, right? Huh? All right. Do it again. Give me a fucking beep. beep. Six, dude. Come on. All right. Well, well that's definitely okay. better. Yeah, it's better. Um, I will say I do want to fuck with the gas, or I do want to tune the gas a little bit, see if I can dampen some of the back pressure. It doesn't have a whole lot of recoil. This is also not my gun, so this grip's kind of. I'm gonna stop making excuses. Um, it does shoot very well, though. Um, what do you want to hit on now? Let's go look at the group first. Go look at it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's all A zone. That's not bad. Yeah. D. Boom! 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 Cool. Right. So, still went a little fast, just to you know, try and get some volume, because generally what this drill is trying to teach you is, hey, I have a target, I need to put some rounds in them, center mass, quick, accurate, you know. So it's trying to test your marksmanship and speed simultaneously. So let's see how Andrew does. Okay, now that I got a little bit more rounds behind the gun, feel a little more confident. I got a fresh target and try to get a better group, better time. Let me know, beep. Beep. Yeah. You were quick. Okay. So he made Orion's belt. Like that. And then I had a little throw right there. It's not bad. We're still A zone. That's 10 yards. Um, yeah, how I would set up the gun. Not a big fan of the BCM grips. Um, Die Free Co. just came out with their uh, Kung Fu grip, uh, which is like straight up vertical. I really like that. And then I would do a radiant safety selector. Um, this is just old technology. Let's just get rid of that, you know? Yeah. Let's make. Talons, the uh, the gold standard, but yes. 
and I'm like that. The trigger's not bad. This reminds me of like an ALG or like a LaRue. Um, but still, I'd run a Geisley. But like Drake said, let's stop making excuses and just get better. Yeah, it should get better. Hold that for me, sweetheart. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. I think one thing we're learning about this gun, though, is that it is uber eats. Um, it is very adjustable, right? So one thing is whenever I took the gun from him to shoot, he had to stock out a little. Fuck out of here, dude. He had, he had. All right, what were you saying? So the gun is highly adjustable, right? So whenever he handed me the gun, I was like, oh God, it feels long as shit, but I can go and dial it in as much as I want, which is nice. We were talking about the AR accessories, definitely gonna fucking have to throw a Geisley in this thing. I don't like how back this grip is. I like a further purchase down myself personally, but I'm having no issues. I think anybody can pick this gun up off the fucking shelf and just rock, rock with it, you know? So let's keep doing drills. You also got that 5.5A1 hitting your tire, too. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Very bad. Okay. Okay, moving on, we're going to do the Mozambique. I uh, did a last video, but two to the chest, one to the head. Try to do it fast. Um, more kind of focus on accuracy, but let's see. Let's give her a try. We got one chamber, yes we do. Charging handle also serves as a forward assist if you hit it forward. Like assist it forward. All right. Give me a beat, please. Beep. That's a malfunction. Okay. Good job. Thank you. You did work through it. Okay, I'm gonna run it again without the gun malfunctioning this time. And ready. Beep. Good shit. Thank you. Perfect little little tea box. Okay. Two to the body, right Chauncey. Right around Chauncey. One of the head. Right in the faux head. Let's get shit on her. Idiot. Oh yeah. Teen Titans go. Alright, Drake, you're up. Uh no, I'm down. What's up? <laughs> well, there's a giant. Got that joint. Right, let's go. I'm about to go back to the joint. All right, you see my mark on the ground? Right, Charles. Yep. Uh, make sure you got three. One of the gun. Yeah. Actually, perfect. All right. All right, I'm about to do the Zimbabwe drill. That's not. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll beat for you. All right, give me a beat, dude. Beep. Ooh, shit. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well this was horrible. <laughs> Bro, you smoked it right there. That wasn't bad. Time, Time was, was quick. quick. Yeah. All right, your first one was here. Good. Yeah. Right next to the D. I mean, he gut shot him just for to fuck on him. And then, not bad, man. I like it. I had two tries. I feel like it's fair you get two tries, you know? Nah. Reloading, cover me! Actually, you got an axe. Give me that shit back. <laughs> All right. Andy got two tries at the Djibouti drill. So do I. So, am I on my mark? Oh, shit. All right. Fucking cheating, dude. All right. Give me a fucking beep. Beep. Yeah, low on the head, dude. A little low on the head skis. So I hit one center. One, that is... Wait, where the hell did you shoot? Where's your third shot? <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> All right, we're running that back, bro. Just cancel everything that just happened. Slow down. <laughs> Had him in the first half. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe if you were standing there, I'd do it good. Oh, my God. All right, you're good. All right. Still low on the head, but I still hit him in the head, but yeah. I mean his jaw's all fucked up. <laughs> okay. 
That's not bad right there, those two. Yeah. All right. And then, not perfect, but. I mean, dude has no fucking neck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I brought out the SIG MCX. Uh, this is the 115556. Uh, I brought it out because I wanted to talk about the differences between the two uh, platforms and, and really from a customer or, or, or a new buyer's kind of point of view, this is looking a whole lot more attractive than this to me right now. Um, I've had this gun for a little over a year now and I put a lot of rounds through it, but uh, shooting that this morning into the afternoon, it's, it's kind of making me feel a little depressed because I, I mean, I spent an extra grand on this thing whenever I could kind of achieve the same thing and got the Palmetto. Uh, right. I mean, Palmetto's been around forever, and they've always been known as that budget-friendly. If you want to get into ARs, you buy one of those. You know, they work, but they've never been known for the top-of-the-line rifles. And we're not saying that's what the Jackal is necessarily, but it's honestly pretty reliable and impressive platform for the price. It's a big change of pace for Palmetto. Yeah, it they've really they've been doing. Is. I mean, we saw at SHOT Show all the crazy shit they have coming out. Yeah. And this is just, just taking the market by storm. It's It's making people not want to spend as much money or save as much money on scars, ACRs, things like that, you know, with all the parts being standardized. I mean, some of that shit's proprietary. Most of this stuff just comes from regular AR, you know, so except for the, with the exception of the upper. Yeah, so, I mean, I couldn't picture spending $3,500 on a SCAR 16 whenever you could just spend 1400 on a nice Jackal. Yeah. Uh, and he mentioned SHOT Show as well um, and the different prototypes they were showcasing. I mean, this is the 5.56 5, 7 uh, but they're showcasing a new 5.56, 5, uh, the VUK, the VUK or something. What the VUK? What the VUK is going on? <laughs> it was, was kind of like a civilian AK-12 kind of jackal. Uh, it, it's rock and lock 5.56 5, mags, which was really cool. Uh, and, I mean, they had the bullpup conversion as well. Uh, I got my hands on that. That felt pretty solid. I'm definitely going to try that out because I love bullpups. Yeah. Uh, they're doing and Remington then, 700s now? They, they are Remington 700s, yeah, Remington the, the 590... Uh, 870 clone that they're doing, but it's, they even made better enhancements on it. They even had a 308 Jackal, which is insane because, uh, I mean, we've been shooting the DD5 a lot recently. Let's see if that could save <laughs> save people's pockets as well. So, yeah. uh, but let's do a little shooting between the, the two of these and kind of just showcase yeah. the differences because kind of, I'm wishing I could trade this in at the moment, but yeah, let, let's see. Uh, again, this is short stroke piston. We got a long stroke piston behind me. Let's see how this is looking. Ooh, forward assist. Does your gun have that? Okay. Charging handle. All right. Okay. Let me get on that real quick. All right. Oh. That's faster. You know, I feel like I can flick that around. I mean, it is a shorter gun, but the, the impulse is like snappier, quicker. Right. Uh, and this is a little more, what did you say, Wesley? Softer. Softer. Uh, um, the over time, longer over time. Yeah, uh, the, it's, I feel like I'm waiting for that bolt to get back uh, to me. And the way we have it gassed, I, I quite like it, but it's a more pleasant shooting experience on the Jackal. Uh, that, it's rough, you know. Um, and in, in, in a good way, too. I do appreciate the MCX design, but I'm telling you, this is, this is kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, why don't you shoot that first, and I'll hand you this let me, after. Let me get down up on this thing. Left some ammo for me. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, before your thoughts, All try right. this out. I'll put this back on here for you. All right, let's see what we got. See what okay, I mean? this is definitely a little bit gassier, you know, but it is more pleasant to shoot, uh, 100%. It's, I mean, I'm pretty sure people can see me. It looks like I'm, you know, uh, you know with the gas at the end, but okay. there's there's <laughs> there's some stuff that can be done to mitigate that, especially just with the cans they have out there now. He's using a Hux Works. Yeah, so that's probably what. I mean, I get a feeling if we threw this on there, the gas would be reduced a little bit. Uh, but it's still more pleasant to shoot. It, it doesn't feel as, it doesn't feel as snappy, yeah. right? It, it feels a little bit more drawn out. I feel like if I was in a position where I had some type of stable shooting platform, I wasn't just standing, I wasn't having to move as much, 
I can get behind this and I can consolidate my shots and I can hit targets at just a, a large variety of ranges. Whereas with this, generally has one purpose. Hit a door, go through it, hit everybody in there in the face. Yeah. So, you know. I agree. But it's just, this, this reminds me more of shooting an AR-15. I mean, recoil's gone, you know, it's pleasant. Uh, that's the great part about an AR-15. There's no recoil behind it. And that's kind of what this is. But like I said, if you're trying to get introduced to a piston system type rifle, go ahead and buy a Jackal, you know? Yeah. But uh, I would definitely still get an AR-15 as well. Uh, but yeah, this is a super neat gun. Which Paul Meadows has been making some really dope AR-15s and That's true. And sabers their saber lineup. And, you know, all that stuff like yeah. that. So, hey, look, they don't pay us for this shit, but I will tell you, they're they're doing good. Yeah. So We're at a pretty good uh, point in the industry when it comes to innovation and Paul Meadows on top of it. So I stand behind them with it. Yeah. I got to get a STG 44, you know? That's next. So I can defend the beaches of Normandy. What? All right, bye, guys. I have blue eyes. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs>